James Molinas, James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful wine. It is a Viognier coming from Arizona. So before us is Arita. So it's an American Viognier 2013 vintage and a 14.5% ABV wine. Now just to point out, beautiful label here and I like it. it's almost like a cracked cement or cracked glass and I think it's a really smart, sophisticated uh, label. And I would say that when I look at labels across the United States, uh, without exception, you find very few that are this sophisticated. Think in, when you come to the marketplace, you have to have the best label possible. Simply put, is uh, you know 99.9% .9 of the time when a bottle is being poured, there's no one around to talk about this wine, and uh, so I think it's really important. So Aridas has done a great job with that, and all of their wine labels are different based on their variety. So here's a front panel, and here is the back panel for your inspection here. Now this is uh, coming from Wilcox, Arizona, and that is actually closer to the New Mexico border, uh, but it is close to Tucson, Arizona. And so you do need uh, some heat, but uh, definitively do not need, say, um, the Valley of the Sun heat, that is Phoenix. So I think, uh, you know, Arizona is coming to play to the marketplace with beautiful wines and um, I find to be very uh, fascinating wines. And I'm really excited that this region has picked up, uh, you know, the, the Vitis Vinifera grape and uh, really holding it close and dear to, you know, this desire for creating beautiful wines. And I think uh, Arizona producers are really doing a great job of understanding their, their particular regions and understanding what grows best and producing beautiful wines at the same time. I think it's a really great call out to seek out these wines. I think it's a great call out to have these wines being poured at restaurants. And uh, especially I would expect that in the Phoenix, Tucson area, but elsewhere as well. I think that is the great wine world we live in today, which is to expect wines from beautiful places, to expect wines from all regions in the United States. And uh, really, you know, expecting those wines to come to the marketplace that are best in class. And, um, you know, I think this is a really great producer. I've tasted their uh, Malvesia Bianca, and it's an absolutely stellar wine. I have more wines to taste from them, and I'll do videos on that as well. So first, scent characteristics, flavor profile, and thirdly, the point score. So on this, I'm getting uh, really captivating notes of white stone fruit, uh, white flowers, pine nut, tea as well, and additionally, uh, some hint of almond on the finish here. So here we go next with the flavor characteristics. And beautiful flavor characteristics on this one include green melon, a mix of green and yellow citrus zest, seashells, wildflower honey, sesame, and a gentle hint of white flowers. Now this is a 9.0 wine out of a 10.0 scale. Think of that as 90 points out of 100 points. More Aridus wine uh, reviews to come, as well as other regions around the planet. So we live in the best of wine times. It's exciting to see these wines, and I'm privileged to be tasting these wines today. So stay with me on this great journey. And I'm on the following social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram. Thank you so much for following, and salute.